Hi everyone, it's Mrs Fowler and Jazz again. Now I know that Jazz is getting really bored of not hearing children read, so I thought I would read one of her favourite books, uh, Roald Dahl's The Twits. And I know that children at home, if you want to listen to it, I'm going to read a, a few chapters every day. Hairy Faces What a lot of hairy-faced men there are around nowadays. When a man grows hair all over his face, it is impossible to tell what he really looks like. Perhaps that's why he does it. He'd rather you didn't know. Then there's the problem of washing. When the hairy ones wash their faces, it must be as big a job as when you and I wash the hair on our heads. So what I want to know is this. How often do all these hairy-faced men wash their faces? Is it only once a week, like us, on Sunday nights? And do they shampoo it? Do they use a hairdryer? Do they rub hair tonic in it to stop their faces from going bald? Do they have to go to a barber to have their hairy faces cut and trimmed? Or do they do it themselves in front of the bathroom mirror with nail scissors? I don't know. But next time you see a man with a hairy face, which will probably be as soon as you step out onto the street, maybe you will look at him more closely and start wondering about some of these things. Mr Twit Mr Twit is one of those very hairy-faced men. The whole of his face, except for his forehead, his eyes and his nose, was covered with thick hair. The stuff even sprouted in revolting tufts out of his nostrils and ear holes. Mr Twit felt that his hairiness made him look terrifically wise and grand, but in truth, he was neither of those things. Mr Twit was a twit. He was born a twit, and now at the age of 60, he was a bigger twit than ever. The hair on Mr Twit's face didn't grow smooth and matted as it does on most hairy faced men. It grew in spikes that stuck out straight like the bristles of a nail brush. And how often did Mr Twit wash his bristly nail brushy hair of his? The answer is never, not even on Sundays. He hadn't washed it for years. Okay, I hope to see you tomorrow everyone so you can tune in to read a little bit more of uh, Roald Dahl's The Twits. Bye!